Click on Guide to see the programming schedule. This is dependent on the cable TV source that is connected to your SnapStream system. You can use your page up and down and arrow keys to traverse through the guide, or use the date selector to go to a specific day. You can also quickly find a channel by selecting the Jump to Channel button. Red icons on a program identify those that are scheduled to be recorded. The icons identify whether the recording job is one time, always, or because the channel is always being recorded. This key at the bottom right will help you decipher the codes. If you would like to set a channel to record 24-7, right click on the channel name in the guide and select Record Everything on this channel. Scheduling an individual recording is simple. Navigate to the correct date, time, and program, right click on the program, and click on Record This Episode if you only want to record this specific day show, or select Record All New Episodes if you would like to always record the program. In order to record in SnapStream, you need an available tuner. If there are more recording jobs set to record than available tuners at a given time, then recording conflicts occur. As you can see, our new recording job created a conflict due to not enough inputs available. SnapStream automatically resolves recording conflicts based on the priority of the recording job. In the Schedule tab, you can see all your recording jobs listed in their priority order. You can either type in new priority orders, or you can arrange the jobs in your desired priority by drag and drop. Remember to select Save Priorities before leaving the screen. In this example, the program I just scheduled will be recorded, and for that hour, this bottom priority will not record. Select View Recording Schedule for a page where you can visualize your recording schedule in a grid that shows what tuner input is being used for each of the upcoming programs that your SnapStream system will be recording. This view can be handy for visualizing why recording conflicts are recurring. Hovering your cursor over an input on the left will bring up a tooltip that describes what tuner number and lineup is represented by that input. 